Hey, what is up guys? Today I got an unboxing of the Apple Watch Series 3. Now the model I have here is the GPS only version, which I believe runs $70 cheaper than the models with cellular. Um, and on top of that, if you do get cellular versions here in the US, I believe most carriers charge $10 per month uh, added to your phone line. So, you know, $120 a year for cellular service on your Apple Watch. I mean, if you really want that as sort of like an emergency thing or if you run outside a lot, it's good. But for me personally, I always have my phone with me, so I don't really need that. So I only got the GPS version, and it is, sorry about the lighting here, it is the Series 3, of course, 42 millimeter case, space gray aluminum, and it is the sport, uh, sport band in the gray color. Now, this is an upgrade for me from my original Apple Watch, which is actually running pretty slow right now, which is why I'm upgrading. And yeah, so I'm excited to get into it. Now, I originally had the gold Apple Watch, the uh, aluminum gold. And I'm a little sad that they don't have that gold color anymore because they're new type of gold. It's sort of like a mashup of the yellow and rose gold, which still looks a little bit feminine. So I went with space gray this time around. And yeah, so the GPS only version, there's actually some differences between the cellular. Um, the GPS only has a composite back instead of the ceramic and it only has eight gigabytes of storage where the cellular version has 16 gigs. So some people actually don't know that, so keep that in mind. Uh, but I actually never used up the internal storage on my original Apple Watch. So eight gigs of storage is fine. And the composite back, I wish I had the ceramic back. I wish uh, Apple didn't change that, but in order to get the cost down on this one, I guess it's sort of a trade-off. But yeah, here's the watch box. Very similar to pretty much other sport Apple Watches in the past. Or aluminum Apple Watches. Apple sort of lost the sport branding. And that's the lid. Designed by Apple in California. And what do we get? Let's just do this. We get sort of a quick start guide if you never use an Apple Watch before. You could look at that. Let's focus here. Some other documentation. And then we do get an extra band. This is the small to medium band if you need a smaller band, of course. If you have smaller wrists. All right, let's put off to the side. And then here is the Space Gray Series 3. Now, the thing with Apple and their Space Gray colors, it's very inconsistent. Um, sort of like the MacBook Pro Space Gray and like the iPhone 6 and like 5S type of Space Gray, it's more light. This one is a lot more dark. So it's a little bit annoying that Apple doesn't really keep a consistency with that. There we go. It looks really sick here. And let's take off this plastic. So we got a stainless steel push pin. It's the same exact sport band we've seen since, you know, 2015, 2014 when this uh, first got announced. But this is the gray sport band, not the black one. So I like that. So cool. Let's gently put off to the side here. And then roll up my sleeve. Now, I'm a little sad they don't have that sort of plastic watch case uh, that they originally had with the Sport Apple Watch for the first generation. So they sort of cheaped out on this one. We get the 5 watt plug. Same with the iPhone. Then here, we got the charging cable. Uh, again, it's the plastic one that you get with the... Um, aluminum Apple watches when you get the addition or the stainless steel ones you get the uh, charges that are encased in stainless steel so I'm not going to use this I already have my original charger that came with my first Apple watch all right there's a lot of packaging all right so here is the series three and let's get my original one in this is the 42 millimeter sport gold see that that looks really nice. And I actually kind of like the Space Gray. Um, I prefer lighter color watches. That's just me personally. Um, but this dark color, I'm actually excited to give it a try. But yeah, let's boot it up, see how far or how fast it is. Now, that's the main reason I upgrade is just the speed. This thing is really slow when I try to work out at the gym, open up the workout app. It just keeps on lagging, and it just really slows me down, so that was annoying. And I'm really excited about the water resistance so I can finally go swimming with my Apple Watch without trying to worry. I do shower with this watch, but there's still no problems. But still, this is sort of meant to be sort of swim, uh, swimming with. So, 
It's going to load up here. My camera's going in and out of focus. I apologize, guys. So hopefully the boot up times won't be slow like this. It's just probably the first start of that slow. So I'll just give it a minute here. And there we go. So, what is it? I don't know what that's saying. It's in a different language. Let's open up my iPhone here. Oh, that's cool. So it just pops up right there. Use your iPhone to set up this Apple Watch. We'll click continue. Hold the Apple Watch up the camera. All right, same as before. Okay, I felt a little vibration on my phone. Your Apple Watch is paired. Restore from backup, set will restore. And I'm actually look off camera here. It's kind of hard to do. Um, okay, so this is the most recent one. We'll choose this one. And it's loading. Connecting your Apple Watch, this may take a moment. Okay, that was quick. And we agree. You don't need to read all that. Signing into your account, this might take a few seconds. Yeah, so the to tell if it's a composite back or ceramic back, these ceramic backs, these sort of circles, these sensors here, have that sort of silver lining around them. The composite back, uh, the composite back doesn't have that, so that's how you can tell. All right, please continue setup on iPhone. It says on the watch. It's taking a while. All right, so if this is taking a long time, I'm probably gonna cut the video and then come back. Oh, never mind. We're done. Watch analytics. Share with Apple. Don't share. Uh, don't share. Uh, what does it say? Shared settings. We'll do that. And then get my camera in focus. Apple Watch passcode, we'll create a passcode. And we'll do that off camera. And the new Series 3 has a faster processor. And because of that, it allows series, uh, Siri to actually talk this time. So that's cool. Apple Pay. Uh, we'll set it up later because we're just trying to get this video done. Emergency SOS, that's cool. I want that on. And watch it syncing. Is that it? Right on, cool. So that's pretty much the entire setup. Um, all my apps from my backup are going to be downloaded onto my Series 3. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Very simple stuff here. So if you guys have uh, any questions or comments, just leave it down in the comment box down below. And I will put the link to this Apple Watch, the specific model, down in the description box. So you can check it out at apple.com. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you have any like questions, again, leave it in the comment box. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.